It's like criminal words. It's like criminal words. I love it, gang. Kitties, you're not coming back inside. I just chased you out for bark socks. Oh my goodness. So I didn't even shant you nothing yesterday. Um, this came in the mail and I just started getting after it. Like there was no to like there was no tomorrows or three yesterdays or however the saying goes. And uh, so my new alpine, right? Because my explode. My explode shit the bed. A while back oh my goodness and you know I flipped off my motorcycle three days ago well I guess today it's it was Monday today is what is today Friday what is today today is Thursday so yeah four days uh, technically I guess it was Monday evening so Tuesday evening Wednesday so I hadn't been quite three days been two and some days and I was so dicked and I'm still dicked the more I move the more dicked I feel but uh Nonetheless, I'm thinking like no now. Yeah, get that to open. Um, so yeah, so I hooked up the radio as best I could remember. You know, I had um, I had originally this is like the factory to Sony, right? Factory to Sony. So you just wire to wire, easy peasy, lemme squeezy. I probably should have just cut these but i can still use it for reference out now i'm not tired it's a new day i can probably think about it and try to figure out what i did wrong although it looks the same to me here i got gray gray and purple purple and white white what is purple purple oh but i got those going to those ew well, maybe i did screw up then i well, know my purples and my greens that would have been to my speaker wires so no that's right and that should be my amp on and my power and my memory and then my ground was to my ground okay well so regardless i got one back speaker that works my amp's not coming on my eq is not coming on but this there's nothing hooked into this ground there's nothing hooked into this power there's nothing hooked into this power so i think as i just hooked my powers into and i don't know maybe they're not so i don't know i'm basically about to rip every i know that was all just confusing and a bunch of mumbo jumbo but basically it's been about 10 years nine years eight years whatever it's been since i put in the system I've got all sorts of wires running to lights and shit that I don't have anymore. And uh, bottom line is I need to retrace everything and uh, see what I got and what I don't got and what I need. And I mean, honestly, like there's my amp wire. It's so bad. Like, honestly, like I'm thinking about just, I'm thinking about once I, I may, once I get to that point, once I rip everything out, I may just, I mean, my amp's still good. I hate that it's crushed in that way and... <laughs> I didn't have any tools when I put this in. I could probably drill a hole in my firewall now. And that's probably not great for it. But yeah, I don't know. I may rip everything out. Just rip all my old wires out and everything so that they know what's what. And take my door panels off and shit and just leave all these. I may take the whole damn thing to a shop and just go sit there all day while they like schedule an appointment and have them have them run me a new, uh, new how you doing. Because... Man, I have got an array of shit in here, and I don't know what goes where. And most of it's useless. There should only be one of these running to my power wire, and all this other stuff is should be useless and stuff that's not any good anymore. And it's a stupid way to design it anyway. So yeah, I think I'm basically gonna go through here and rip everything out. You know, all the for sure stuff that I know is useless, like this bunch of wires, like that all used to be to my lights and stuff, that are all to nothing now. But I gotta figure out how to. And this was for my Viper. I cut that yesterday. Didn't really want to do that, but you know, the sound and stuff didn't work anyway. But for all I know, nothing works. Maybe that's just a to my light. Maybe that's just a power to my light. 
but yeah, it seemed like a much better idea before I, uh, before I started it. I don't know why I always start this stuff before I have all the proper stuff, but I don't know why I don't get a new ignition switch. So this wire is wired directly to the back right speaker. This was wired up the same way because originally, see that's the remnants of it. Because originally I didn't have uh, I didn't have the proper tools when I put this in when I came here, so I couldn't I couldn't get these wires because they're too short. Come back on screen. I couldn't get these wires because they're too short. Well, I have all the tools now, so I wired them up, and now the speaker doesn't work. And I've already ripped out the other ends of these wires. That's the first thing I did before I hooked that up. So I have no speaker there, so that sucks. But the wire's gone. But I have since ripped out all the array of all the other garbage wires that I had. For some reason, my amp won't turn on. I don't know what's up with my amp. I mean, it could be a fuse or something. I don't even check. Probably should have done that. Um, amp won't come on. EQ is dead anyway. It was shot, so I pulled it and I cut these RCA cables because uh, they're feeding like up under here. See, there's the remnants, and it went behind up and around. And I don't even know how all this came out before. I don't even see any screws for all that shit. So I don't even know how I got this whole array out. I mean, I could have watched a video and stuff, but um, I don't really care. I don't even pay for those cords they were given to me years ago, and so money loss and they'll have to rewire it anyway if I get an amp put in. I mean an EQ. Try to just stick this in the car for now. I'm gonna order more of these blue more of these tabs so I can at least put it back on. And then uh in a while I'll get all the rest fixed. But now at least I got a little bit of sound. So I'm sitting here running my I'm tracing my battery. Well now okay it's connected there. I checked everything in the back it's good. I'm looking I'm following it. I'm like oh you know what? That could uh I'm like checking here. I'm like, yep, that could be that could be an issue. That could be possibly an issue. So that's hilarious. So I need a new amp cord. For sure. Slightly curious as to why it would just well, that cord would melt like that. Okay, everything's all good. Got all four speakers hooked back up. Uh, still got to screw in my gain. My amp gain, but there's no power going to my amp right now anyway. Um, I'll have to purchase another EQ. If I do that though, if I do purchase another EQ, then that'll involve, I'll have to take everything back off. As of right now, for affordable wireless. <gasps> As of right now, I uh, I can just run a power to my battery from my amp, and the remote's already hooked up. The remote turned on, so I should be good with an amp. And this has got a subwoofer uh, back channel, so that's connected. And uh, I just won't have uh, you know super fine subwoofer control this has got one subwoofer control but i had i won't have multiple frequency control but i looked and you can't even buy eqs like i used to anymore um they're all weird and digital and they're only like five band and nine band not like badass 11 but 11 bands like the one i just threw away and uh like my kenwood oh i probably ought to salvage these brackets Okay, so I do put another one on. Um, but yeah, this was great while it lasted. But uh, this might be a nine band. Two, three, four, five, six, yeah. But yeah, that's uh, that's trash, except for my, my brackets. But yeah, so I'm done for a while. Quit, but I got sounds again, so that's important. Yeah, that's good, and yay. All right, the arm is still more dickered than not. And uh, I just, I fired up the bike and just took her around the yard just real slow, real quick. With only a couple brap braps and just the, the shake, the impact. Like, so I might have done a little fraction, I don't know, but either way, I ain't going to the, 
I ain't going to the hospital. Like, I ain't going to get an x-ray uh, with COVID and no vaccine in an ER. Like, I asked the old lady the two days after it happened when she kept on insisting I'd go get an x-ray. I'm like, uh, can I go to a doctor's office and have it done? Like, I'll get, and she's like, she's like, they don't have, most of them don't have x-ray machines. I mean, I guess you could maybe try to find one, but, I mean, you're not going to get an appointment anytime soon. And by that time, it's like, so yeah. Anyway, because it's been like four, five, six, seven days now. Um, I'm not sure when I did it. But anyway, you know, the whole reason I got out on that day, because I wanted to catch some badass footage on here, which I haven't even reviewed, and some drone footage of me hitting, hitting sidewards in the field, and rooster tailing and fish tailing and sliding the bike around and uh, so I get a little bit extra rambunctious and aggressive right and uh, that drone footage gone corrupted so uh, first time I ever had that happen on that so I don't know what happened um, but that's corrupted so that's, that was all for naught and uh, like I said I haven't even reviewed this footage so I don't even know how good it is and then when I went out on the road that's when I fucked myself up on my, on my brother-in-law's ash pile that he's been spreading in the fields and as he gathers it up with the tractor it butterflies it out further and further and so now it's up where I ride and so I wasn't expecting it to be there even though you know if I looked I could have seen it but you know you just tend to you know it happens same thing happen when you're driving I forget what it's called but you know you gotta look down the road you know people tend to just look like right in front of them instead of like down the road and scan for what's coming up it's part of being a defensive driver which I'm real good about on the road. Apparently not so good on a dirt bike. Because um, by the time I saw it, like it was just right there, and that's when I, um, I just completely over the, you know, over my handlebars. Uh, matter of fact, I don't even know if you can saw it. My handlebars are slightly cattywampus. They didn't used to have that little bit of a. They got a slight. That's the wheel straight. This is ever so cattywampus, like, this is straight, my bars are like, ever so slightly, this back and this forward, in conjunction with the, but, uh, I'm not worried about it, I'm putting this bitch up for sale. <laughs> I'm putting it up for sale for a thousand because I'll be having enough money for my, my KLX pretty soon, and, uh, I'll just be getting that, and so I'm about to clean this bad boy up and put her up for sale. For what I paid for, a thousand dollars. I might, I might ask thirteen hundred, and then take a thousand. Might ask twelve hundred, but uh, yeah, um, we'll get to doing that. Dude, if you got to put a sticker of a gun on your truck, there's no way that you're not a eunuch. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's a, if, it's, if maybe if the truck's not jacked up and uh, and not doesn't have a big ass loud muffler and shit, then maybe that just makes him a little small dick, a little small dick. You know what I mean? Maybe it's a compromise. You can you can put a gun sticker or you can do the the max. I don't know. I don't know how that works. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna ask 1800 1800 on a steel and I'll let it go for 15 Yeah, I think I'll be able to sell that 1500 I mean The only plastic you really need to replace is the front fender I assume because he must always had that like just poking out of the front of a shed or a carport or something or not back far enough so that the afternoon sun didn't hit it every day. Because all the other plastics look great. Besides, you know, some little bit of marring and scratching on the white plastic here. But yeah, front fender, valve job, brand new bike. Need a back tire sooner than later, but still good for now. If I'm not mistaken, he's on a three-wheeler. I thought that was a four-wheeler this whole time. That is a three-wheeler. Chris is, well, I mean, fuck, I rode a three-wheeler as a kid for 
couple summers. Just balls out as fast as she could go, but it was just a little 125. That probably sounds actually what that is. But, uh, man, that's the first time I've seen him come around so close, and that is totally a three wheeler. Let's see if he gets anywhere close enough. I sound him. Oh, there he goes, down the trail down there. Behind the trees, can't sound him. Maybe he'll come around again. Sometime the next week or so too. Probably not next week because it's supposed to rain. Probably the week after that. What the fuck is this? I'll drive creep slow and sub my sub my hacienda. I wonder if they're looking for. So these fuckers are now selling the other piece of land on the other side of the cottage. There's another five acres. I bet you that's what they're coming to look at. It's all wooded. And yeah, they're probably going to try to sell it for that same 43000 or 44000 or some ridiculous price when it's worth less than that because it's all trees. There's no open land whatsoever. It's crazy. Alright, got the S10 off the trailer. I can take it after the mail comes and go get me some more railroad ties. I can barely lift my right arm straight out like if I was going to do... Oh my goodness, come on Briar. Let me go. Let me go. So, uh, I can barely, that's probably too high, be a weird awkward angle here, I can barely lift my right arm, now that I've been using it, I can really barely do it, without any weight, it really hurts in here, but I'm pretty sure it's just pulled muscles and stuff from where I flew off, but I've been exercising every day since it, well, every day for the last few days, after I had a couple days of recovery, and, uh, Got to try to strengthen up my, my, my core and everything here so that uh, so that next time I go down, which is, is inevitable, um, you know, with the combination with strength training and the armor I'm going to be wearing, hopefully there will be no injury whatsoever. Because, I mean, my go down should be fairly light. Anyway, about time for a new Black Lives Matter flag. She's getting tattered, she is. She's getting tattered, if you can even stop it. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome to have just neighbors everywhere I freaking look. <sighs> Alright, I quit for a while. Bike's washed, trash is loaded, just waiting on the mail, laundry's done. I've been a good boy. Let's see who's coming down the road while we're out here. We'll just give him a little, little film when he do that day, we will. <laughs> They're probably like, wait a minute, is this the one I sell, sell for sale a couple weeks ago? And the other one, like, this is a much better piece of land. What the hell? 
Yeah, they're dicks, dude. The owners for splitting it up in the first place. Like, why don't they just sell the whole 15 acres with the cottage included for a few hundred thousand? Like, what it was worth, a couple hundred thousand, whatever. What it was worth, and give people a solid piece of land to do something with. The assholes. like criminal words. It's like criminal words. I love it, Kang. I love it, Kang. Terrible idea. Let's see what all we got. Let's see what we got. What am I bringing out all night yet? Settle down, maybe. Criminal words. Oh. Criminal words. Oh, good. Double bag it. Sweet. Really? A bag inside a bag inside a bag. And what do we have here? Oh, uh, door clippies. You look at that guy. Squirt. Here. Nope. More clippies. Better expensive clippies. Uh, oh my goodness, that's the good stuff. Some of this for the old lady back in the back a little while back, and, and she loves it. And uh, I steal it. I steal it when I take a bath. I steal some. And she told me the other day, she's almost out. She said, I need some more. I said, Okay, we'll take care of you. Remember, never cut towards yourself like, like I just did. That looks like a uh, that looks like a washer before a wear in the middle of a COVID. In the middle of a COVID situation. I mean these two maybe. I hope they're not huge. Probably getting the coves right now. Oh, that's, that's, well, that's, the tag's not near long enough. It's not near long enough of a shirt tag. Good Lord. Oh, these are, these are going to be perfect. Perfect. How you doing? Da -da -da. Yeah. Yes. Come to Washington. I don't want to get COVID in there. This one looks safe. This one looks like... Totally sealed, like factory sealed. This is the expensive one. Oh look, I cut a little bit of a, I cut a little bit of a tan line today, washing the bike I did. Yeah, this is the expensive one. The other one was like three for, three for twenty-five. This one was like fourteen dollars by itself. But it's because it's super cool. Oh yeah, it's a little tight. It's ever so tight. Ever so tightly. Oh, I can barely lift that right arm. I cannot flex my muscle yet. Oh, I can't on that one. Look, look, if I had one, you'd see it. All right, and then what we got? What we got? I have a feeling I know what this is. Yo, I said I thought it. Shin protectors, CE1. 
I don't have enough, near enough tags for these either. I have three tags in here. somebody has gotten and returned because the tag the tag book ain't, ain't attached to it. stomach potentially but much everywhere else. Solar plexus totally protected, shoulders, elbows, mostly kind of not really the wrists but forearms, full back protection, no tailbone. Feels pretty good. I mean, it's definitely hot. That's why we'll keep her moving. I'd rather be hot and go down like this. So I don't like how this basically completely unzips and then it doesn't zip all the way around. Like I don't like that at all. That's really silly. I mean, it ought to give you the option to go ahead and zip all the way around, right? And then if people don't want to zip it and they want to unzip it halfway, great. Even if it's a double zipper system. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's alright. It just seems that not the best design. Shoulders could be higher. I wish these pads came up a little bit more towards collarbone. But I think they stay down so far because you got to be able to have them uh, this is adaptable with their neck system. So yeah, shoulders could be a little bit better protected, but it's probably because of my weird frame. But yeah, you definitely have to have this zipped, otherwise he's going to stay in nowhere. I mean, for $300, you'd just it'd be nice if it had a little bit better design. Everything else I like pretty much. Assuming these zippers are quality and they last. zipper stop. You're screwed. But yeah, that was the whole reason I got the compression shirts, because the one complaint about this, besides a couple people that complain about all the mesh fabric like I'm doing, maybe the, whoops, maybe the wrist idea isn't the worst, because they do have separate wrist guards, wrist elbow guards. Maybe you want to wear and wear more, uh, utilize this as just a chest and not wear the bottom half. I guess that makes sense for that. But again, it'd just be nice to zip it all the way around. But, uh, 
But yeah, some people complained about the mesh design and the fact that it's so much money and that it's this little bit of, you know, if one thing goes wrong, if these zippers break, or if the mesh tears, like you're basically screwed. Same reason I should probably give it a pretty close inspection. I mean, I would definitely try to have mine sewn up. It did rip, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, it looks pretty good. But yeah, that's why the Ergo the compression shirt, because that was the one complaint. But yeah, that was the one complaint, is that uh, they were hard to get off. Ergo the compression shirt. Like, countless people were like, they're impossible to get off when you're sweaty. Love it, but can't get it off. And then one dude was like, yeah, just buy a compression shirt and you're good. So I did. How about like seven of them? <laughs> street bike, I only had leathers. I had no hard CE protection. I had a jacket, but I only wore that for a very short while when I first started riding. I'm not loving this shoulder. I mean, I feel badass. It's definitely ridiculously hot. It's only about 75 today, maybe 78. I don't have any ACs on. The old lady does in the bedroom, but that's not. There ain't no getting here. And I'm about dying, and this is my full, my full riding attire. So uh, I'm definitely have to go get my camel back, and start wearing it, outfit my hose in here, and uh, so I can drink while I'm riding. And uh, other than that, it's pretty pretty much good to go here. And I uh, can't wait to get my motorcycle here in a couple weeks. I'm going to be riding hard.